corner kick, a minute 20 to go. Into the far side, had it away by the Cardinals. Haziel Enriquez first to it. Haziel Enriquez needs some help. It's knocked backwards, still going. Here goes Sam Abreu, he's got me busy if he wants him. Sam Abreu, deflection, Cardinals score! My goodness! This is insane! Pandemonium at North Central! Two goals in less than a minute could send the Cardinals through to the second round of the NCAA tournament! Are you kidding me? Haziel's gonna get the assist on the game winner after scoring the equalizer! My goodness! Here comes Ellie Lockbaum. She is three for three on penalties this year. The center back is gonna take on Lauren Ketchum, the best goalkeeper in the conference. A powerhouse matchup here. Ellie Lockbaum for the lead against Lauren Ketchum late on in this semifinal. Lockbaum scores! Cardinals lead! Here in the 76th minute at home, they've got the edge in the semifinal. Good quick pass for Westerberg, and Aiden knows he can outrun Coughlin here. Westerberg looking to bend across for Innocenti. First time! What a pass, what a goal. First time finish, Matteo Innocenti. Cardinals lead 3 1. How about that for a counter attacking strike? With no assistant referee whose primary job it is to watch. For those offsides. Down the near side, Need Busy will get onto this one. Keepers out of his goal. Aloy Need Busy! Need Busy scores and dances for appropriate joy. 1 0 Cardinals here in the first half. That's blocked by Innocenti. And Innocenti is going to try to go around Volland. Innocenti gets past the defender into the penalty area. Innocenti with a nice back heel. That'll find a Brayu. Haziel Enriquez is available on the far side. Enriquez on his left foot, scores! Haziel Enriquez, three goals, three games, 1-0 Cardinals. Was on the field, or maybe she was taken off briefly there. Corner swung in, chested down off the line, it's on the doorstep, Borg had it, still loose, shot again into the back of the net, the Cardinals have tied it up, Elena Kuhn. The defense is winning out so far tonight, here's Jaimes. Playing a great ball through to Fairwood, if he can catch up to it, and he will. Fairwood? Cuts back onto his right. Jack Fairwood to the middle, all the way through eight in Westerberg. Great passing, great finish, and the Cardinals' leading goal scorer has restored their lead. 2 1 North Central. UW Superior trying to recycle possession. Referee says no foul. North Central coming out of the pile with it. Well done by Enriquez to stay on his feet there. Pass can't find Westerberg. The loose ball falls for Innocenti. Innocenti, great ball here for Fairwood down the near side. Fairwood. Haziel Enriquez. Enriquez fakes the cross back onto his right to his left. Enriquez to the middle. Back post. A vital header could fall for Westerberg. Aiden Westerberg, the CCIW Player of the Year, puts the Cardinals ahead in the opening round of the NCAA Tournament. Cardinals have to be careful not to commit any fouls. Martinez into the middle. Katie Huey! Katie Huey with what could be a vital winner for the Cardinals! Jay Kalibas with space. Looking for a long ball toward Enriquez, but the wind is going to get in the way of this. It's over! Arriba and in! Jacobo De Kalibas from 50 yards! Keeler, we've we seen him play fullback this season. Munchausen is clearly always going to track back. Maybe that's what Enzo Fischino's thinking. Turnover here, big chance. Shea Bechtel shooting opportunity, and he roofs it into the corner of the net. And the turnover is punished immediately. St. Olaf are level, 1-1, and game on here in the second half. Bonifacio. Still Eduardo going. Innocenti trying to give it back. Eduardo Bonifacio! Off the post. Still in play. Still there, High Mason jumping on it is Paredes. And how did that one stay out? Bonifacio just knocked it past the goalkeeper and it wouldn't go in, swept off the line. Here come UW Superior the other way. Here's Perry, still Perry. Chance here for the visitors, curved in. Marquard has it. Good evening and welcome to this presentation of the NCAA Division III Men's Soccer Championship and North Central College Cardinals Athletics, the round of 32 here tonight 
between the St. Olaf College Oles and the North Central College Cardinals. Alongside Joe Kennedy, I'm Alex Campbell, and Joe, what a night we had here in the semifinals last night. The Cardinals with two goals in the 89th minute to secure victory from the jaws of defeat and a dominant performance by the Oles, racking up eight goals against Lake Forest. Hard to know what we're in for tonight. Yeah, you can't really script what happened last night between both games, honestly. I mean, North Central coming back, being down one goal and scoring those two quick goals, it was amazing. And then St. Olaf just showing up, going 8-1 to one in their first game out in the postseason this year. or this yeah. And so the, tonight we're in for a big game. The midfield, I think, will be a big uh, key to focus on. North Central getting their first NCAA tournament win in program history last night, and I don't think you could have even imagined a better way to do it. Down to 10 men, down a goal, Haziel Enriquez and Daniel Navarro scoring in the 89th minute to somehow grab the win for the Cardinals. Let's take a and Not a whole lot of changes from either teams here tonight. One thing to keep an eye on, Victor Garmol. He's coming in tonight to start here, Alex, and he is a first-team conference selection, so getting a start now in the postseason. Garmal playing in his 20th game. This is his 19th start. He's only missed one game all season and not started one other. Working up the near side is Beckman. And a collision there in midfield. We saw a lot of fouls in North Central's game last night. Yellow cards piling up, including two for Jack Bonavia, who was suspended this evening. Very physical game. And I know the snow kind of did have something to do with that. It's a lot of fun to play out there in the snow. On to his left foot. Here comes Oberholzer. On the overlap is Beckman. Closed down by Enriquez. Beckman's cross up and over and out of play. As soon as I can sort out who is playing where for St. Olaf, I will try to work my way through their formation tonight. Numbers are a little hard to see from all the way up here. They are a little bigger than what I thought they were. Looks like a 3-4-1-2, best I can make out. Yeah, I would say so. At least the three back for sure is set up for St. Olaf. Here come the Cardinals down the far side. This is Fairwood. Left the game last night. We weren't sure why. We knew it was because there was blood on his uniform, but we were told today he had his hand stepped on by a cleat last night. Yeah. And that never feels comfortable. No metal spikes on this field, but still plenty of force through the synthetic materials that can cause some significant damage. A physical game like that takes a toll. Bouncing in midfield, ball played toward the near side. That's an excellent sliding challenge by Bonifacio to keep it out of the reach of Oberholzer. Looks like the 34 Beckman will play the right-sided center back without the ball and a more orthodox right back with the ball. Oberholzer, right wing slash right wing back. Was he pushed to the ground? He was. Free kick for the Oles. The game started off physical in North Central last night against Wisconsin Superior. Also started off the game well, testing the goalkeeper a lot to start the game. Hakeem Morgan, junior from San Jose, Costa Rica. Five goals, nine assists this season. Had a goal and two assists in that 8-1 win against Lake Forest last night. Still waiting here to get this all sorted out, it appears. Haziel Enriquez, the only Cardinal forming, I don't even know if you can call it a wall if it's just one guy. He's the one guy to somewhat stop anything to go in uh, towards that right side of the net. Yeah, he, his job is just to prevent a ball from being able to be scored at the near post. All the bodies in the box right now, Alex. A lot of pressure. Morgan with a left foot will curve this in toward the far post. That's a nice ball. It's headed away by the Cardinals for now. Brought down. Morgan right-footed effort this time. Header won by Kramer. Not away, though. Shot comes in. Partially blocked and then further out by Bonifacio. Aiden Westerberg putting the pressure here. On the Oles defense, back forward by Beckman. Into the path of Artut Puig. And now here's Jacobo de Calibas. Aziel. Artut Puig 
into the middle, into the path of Bozakovich. So having looked at the uh, the Olaf formation now for a bit, in goal is number zero, Peter Forseth. The back three from right to left are Ben Beckman, Ian Elliott, and Aiden Hillis. The wing backs on the right, Jordan Oberholzer, and on the left, Casey McCloskey. The two deeper lying midfielders are Robbie Bazakovich and Victor Galmont. The number 10, wearing number seven, is Clemente Archuk Puig just behind the two strikers, Hakeem Morgan and Shea Bechtel. So best I can make out, Joe, it is a 3-5-2 out of possession for St. Olaf. But again, we're seeing them expand out a bit when they have the ball. You'll see number 34, Beckman, who will play on the right of the back three on defense. He'll come to the near side, and it'll go from a 3-5-2 to more of, I guess you could call it more of a 4-4-2 almost, or a 4-2-3-1, really when they've got the ball. And it'll be interesting how North Central can be able to counter, because last night was a big counterattack and goal to win the game. Headed away there by the Oles, who now look to counterattack themselves. McCloskey on the far side, looking forward, hoping for Oberholzer. But in the end, it's Davis Nelson, the right back, who gets it clear. St. Olaf right back in possession, though. Here's Morgan. Morgan down the line for Oberholzer. Good challenge by Tito Jaimes. The one change tonight, Tito starting in place of Sam Abreu. Both teams making just one change this evening from their lineups that won semifinals last night. Of course, North Central had to make a lot of changes, having a man sent off, crossing from the end line in front. A shot never came away. It was Bechtel's cross, and in the end, it's behind. Last off of McCloskey, who had pinched in from the far side, and it'll be a goal kick for Sid Marquardt. And good job by Kramer there to cover the near post for his goalkeeper. Two good clearances from the North Central back line off that free kick a little bit ago, and then right there in that cross. I mentioned in the open, Joe, that North Central last night won their first ever NCAA tournament game. St. Olaf made it to the Sweet 16 last year. That was the farthest they'd ever gone. They lost to CCIW uh, regular for the Cardinals North Park, as this is Navarro and Morgan going shoulder to shoulder. Hakeem Morgan getting around, sliding in, went Bonifacio. And then good work by Daniel Navarro to win that away from Oberholzer. So North Park defeated St. Olaf in the Sweet 16. And the Vikings then fell to U Chicago in the Elite Eight. We should note that North Park lost in penalties today. Their tournament is over. The winner of this game tonight will face Gustavus Adolphus, who are a fellow MIAC team. MIAC, I should say, the Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletic Conference with St. Olaf. They split their season series. Gustavus Adolphus won in the regular season, and the Oles won the Mayak Championship game. Two to one in order to secure an automatic bid. They probably would have been in anyway. They come into tonight at 14, five and one. A good schedule for both of these teams throughout the year, non-conference and conference wise. Two of the stronger conferences, certainly regionally. Definitely. And right now it looks like it's the CCIW and the Mayak on a collision course with UChicago. Good late challenge there by Navarro to knock that away for a corner kick. Fleet feet there by Jordan Oberholzer to work his way into that position. Yeah, and Bechtel too as well in there. And a lot of the attack is coming on this right side for St. Olaf on, to start this game so far. Uh, th again, they're creating almost an overload. When Beckman comes forward from center back, he gets near Oberholzer on the right wing. And there's some two-on-one opportunities there. Haziel Enriquez having to track back quite a bit from his left wing position so far. Hakeem Morgan is on corner duty again. Left-footed, in-swinger, right on top of the goalkeeper. Header was won by Jacobo de Calibas. Could fall here for Guimont, and that's blocked by the Cardinals. Here comes Aiden Westerberg charging forward for North Central. Unable to get a second touch, though, as it's played back. Looks like the goalkeeper, Peter Forseth, has a snood over most of his face. Got to stay warm out here. It is pretty chilly for now. I was going to say, though, these guys are from Minnesota. They should be used to this. I think they are. Here's Morgan one on two. Tried to chip it into the area. and Went past a few players. Away as far as Oberholzer. As Guimont goes back for Hillis. 
St. Olive very much in control of things. I can't speak for the Oldies, but we know, Joe, that the Cardinals are a little beat up. Mm -hmm. We saw Mateo Inocenti, Jack Fairwood, and Jacobo de Calibas all leave last night with knocks of one degree of severity or another. And then, of course, we mentioned Jack Bonavia's red card suspension for this evening. And this is a St. Olaf team. They got five all-conference selections between the first team, second team, and all from their midfield and forward spot. So they got a good attacking force. Put up a, a lot of goals, over three goals a game too last night. Cardinals, of course, boasting seven all-conference inclusions. This ball's forward and a counter-attacking chance. And Ocenti is on the chase, bouncing in the penalty area. Still on Ocenti, and Ocenti blocked away by Ian Elliott. The first real chance of the game for the Cardinals. It was very route one, and the Italian forward almost able to apply the finishing touch. Corner for the Cardinals, their first of the night. And right there is where you can see where the three back can kind of expose things when the counterattack's coming the other way for the Cardinals, and they got a good look there. Now a corner kick opportunity, too, here. Jacopo de Calibas, very dangerous from dead balls. The Italian freshman, only one assist this year, but you wouldn't know it by the way he can distribute. Outswing around the corner. Heads go up toward the far post off the line by Beckman. Perfect curl on the ball from the corner. Cardinals very close twice in a row. Back forward. Fairwood heads it on. Navarro's there. Jack Fairwood swinging a miss. Not cleared. And now away by the Oles, but some good pressure there by the Cardinals. The first time we've really seen that tonight as we've played almost 12 minutes here in the first half. 33-15. On the clock here at Benedetti Worldly Stadium. It's been a very exciting fall season of North Central Athletics. Found out today that the football team will face Lake Forest in their opening round game on Saturday. That's Saturday at noon here at Benedetti Worldly. And you can watch that game both right here on NorthCentralCardinals.com or if you live in Naperville on Naperville Community Television, NCTV 17. North Central football getting what I would call, Joe, a very favorable draw in their region of the bracket. Cardinals, the number one ranked team in the nation, according to D3Football.com, basically all year. Sliding challenge in there, got the ball. That was well done by Bozakovich. We saw a lot of that last night in the North Central game, Alex. Physicality, and that's where the Cardinals kind of looked well in the game. And so far today, when there's been moments of physicality, they've had some good opportunities, too. That was actually Gaumal with the challenge there. The 29 and the 23 look a lot alike from way up here. Down the far side, crossed in by McCloskey, and it's claimed by Sid Marquardt. And Marquardt distributing very quickly here for Aiden Westerberg. Looking for Fairwood. And that was a nice step there by the left-sided center back, Hillis. Hillis, the freshman from Clive, Iowa, went to Waukee Community High School. Picked up his first assist of the season in that last game, but it feels like everybody got on the score sheet for St. Olaf against the Foresters. Yeah, when I was looking at the stat sheet, I was like, wow. Like every, almost every person was playing, every person was getting a point in there. Must have been a fun game today. They scored their opening goal, I believe, in the second minute of play, and it was just kind of an avalanche from that point on. Yeah, it was 4 nothing, I think, before the point went. Bozakovich looking to the near side, Oberholzer. Up against Enriquez. Oberholzer looking very dangerous in possession. Shot from distance by Bozakovich is launched high and well wide. Tough to hit that one time. It's always a tough one, especially from that far and that far wide, distance-wise. So, but the good look, moving in from the outside, going into the middle with uh, Oberholzer. But, Joe, as we approach 15 minutes played in this game, I think we would agree that this has largely looked the way we expected. Mm -hmm. St. Olaf controlling possessions, possession, especially after the way they passed it around. Again, it was against a not-as-high-quality opponent last night, but you could see their quality shine through. And North Central playing against a team who is much more evenly balanced tonight than that UW Superior squad who were attack, attack, and more attack, really, in their approach. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This game a little bit more 50-50 in terms of where the team's intentions are. Again, North Central not having much of the ball. They're used to having much more of it than this in their CCIW contests. I don't think that's going to really limit them, though. They're still going to have these offensive chances. With a look to counter here, Jacobo de Calibas trying to pull him back. There is Beckman. Referee says play on. Maybe the ref will revisit that. Giving and going in Ocenti and Enriquez. Pass didn't have enough on it from Haziel. And it'll be a throw in on the near side. And Jacopo's saying to the ref, hey, you're going to go back and give him a yellow card. And the referee says no. 
No, I am not. Yeah, I don't think there was too much into that or enough into that for a yellow card. It was. It's one of those, you're clearly trying to stop a counterattack, but if you don't foul them quite enough, also we're still early in the game, and number one, we know referees don't want to give early cards, and this referee tonight seems less interested in going to his pocket than the referee last night. In Ocenti, thought about going down about 10 yards earlier, didn't. Got fouled again and then tumbles over. I think he knew what he was trying to do there. Uh, draw up a little foul, something, get a good, pretty much a corner situation. Though. I think he thought about trying to draw the foul in the first contact, decided now nah, keep going. And then the second time, uh, gravity's intensity yeah. increased a bit. <laughs> but you, we've seen some moments here for North Central when there's some opportunities, some areas where the ball can get into. It just matters if they can do it and execute. Jacobo de Colibus on, as you said, Joe, basically a corner, chipping it into the middle, headed to the back, post is there, and it's in! Jack Fairwood opens the scoring! 1-0 Cardinals, the flicked on header, the first time finish, North Central leads! I think that was Bonifacio, he flicked down with his foot too, getting a nice touch with the back post, beautifully placed with the pretty much a corner spot, Alex, and then flicked right onto that back post, beautifully done. We weren't sure if Jack Fairwood would be fit enough to play tonight, but thank goodness for North Central he was. He scores the opening goal here with 29.02 to play, and you said it, Joe. The Cardinals have not looked dangerous often, but their couple of set pieces had looked promising, and Jack Fairwood arrives at the back post to slam it home, and the Cardinals have the lead here in this regional final. And it's got to feel good.